Humans have a biological need to love and be loved. As Valentine's Day approaches, we're discussing attachment theory, the research explaining how relationship patterns form based on empathy shown by our early caregivers. Joining us this morning is our wellness expert, Dr. Heather Hans. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. Really no, there's never it. enough time to talk about this, but it's an important one. It is. Now is the time. So what is attachment theory and how does it impact relationships? Yeah, so attachment theory has been studied for over 60 years and it found that humans need to form at least uh, one secure relationship with a primary caregiver in order to develop uh, in a normal way mentally and, and emotionally. And that happens when the caregiver is empathetic and responsive, both to the physical and the emotional needs of the child consistently. And what that does is it creates a memory in the child that shapes their behaviors and their expectations and even their choice of partners. And we're talking about all sorts of close relationships. Um, the closer it is, the more pronounced the attachment will be. And then, uh, the attachment system turns on during times of anxiety in order to reduce stress and also to just to survive by staying physically and emotionally close to the caregiver. If that's not done consistently, not, not perfectly, but consistently, then the child develops an insecure style and that leads to stress in their relationships throughout their life. That's what my next question was going to be. If someone didn't get this when they were a kid, they didn't get this type of relationship, it could have detrimental effects for all the relationships down the road, right? Absolutely. It doesn't seem fair, but there right. are things we can do. We'll, we'll get to that. But the, the first type of insecure attachment style, which I see a lot of in my practice, is the anxious style. And mm -hmm. these people are always looking for validation. They are also looking for signs of rejection from mm -hmm. their partners. And they tend to have low opinions of themselves and overly optimistic opinions of, about their partners. And when they get stressed, they tend to cling to their, their partners. They also tend to pick the avoidance style partner, which they both trigger each other's worst fears, <laughs> but they end up together because they are, they're familiar with each other's style. And the avoidant partners, they tend to have high, high views of themselves, but not so positive views of their partners. They seek control and independence in their relationships. And when they're under stress, they tend to distance themselves and, um, just suppress their negative emotions. There's a, a third insecure style that's just less than 5% of the population mm. that's kind of a mix of both of those called the disorganized style. But then we have the secure style, which is about half the population, mm. um, the avoidance 25%. This is about half. And they are secure with vulnerability, both giving and receiving. They have positive views of themselves and of their partners. Um, they don't tend to worry about abandonment and, and they don't have this need to control. So that's about half, half the population. It just shows you how important those early relationships are for everything else down the road. You know, it really is eye-opening when you come in and you talk about this. It, it's everything. I mean, it, it, it sets people up for life. And and people can change. In fact, there's a study showing that just knowing your attachment style helps you, can help you change it if yeah. you want. And then having experiences that strongly contradict that old style, practicing secure behaviors, choosing partners or people to be in relationships with who are empathetic mm -hmm. makes all the difference. And then there are uh, therapists who specialize in um, attachment theory. See, your attachment style can change. It's like the five languages of love. Once you know what yours is and your partner's is, it's like, it's way easier to navigate. It's the same with this Absolutely. one. It's, it's just good information. Awareness. To know. As always, thank you so much for thank coming. Thank you in, for having me.